Lesson 6.9, Three-Digit Subtraction, Regroup Hundreds and Tens. We know to regroup in subtraction when there are not enough ones or not enough tens to subtract from the minuend. So remember, the top number is the minuend, we're taking away the subtrahend, and the answer is the difference. We have four ones and we want to take away six ones, so we would need to regroup. Here we have two tens and we want to take away five tens, so we would need to regroup. So let's see how to do this problem. Sometimes we will need to regroup more than once in a subtraction problem. The first thing we do is we subtract the ones and regroup if needed. We have four ones, we need to take away six ones. We don't have enough in the menu end. So we're going to go to the tens place. We're going to cross off this two tens and make it a 110. We're going to give that 10 to the ones place as 10 ones. Now we don't have four ones anymore, we have 14. Now we can take away the six ones. 14 minus 6 is equal to 8. Now we have 110 and we need to take five tens away. And we can't, we don't have enough tens. So we go to the hundreds place. We cross off this 300, it becomes a 200. We give that 100 to the tens place as 10 tens. Now, instead of 110, we have 11 tens. And 11 tens minus 5 tens is 6 tens. We have 2 hundreds minus 100, that's 100. It's equal to 168. So, if you notice, there were two boxes here because we needed to regroup. We crossed this one off, it became a 110. Then, to subtract, we needed to regroup again, and instead of 110, now we have 11 tens, and the 11 went up there. Remember to write the corrected number when regrouping. We have 9, we're taking away 2, that's easy, that's 7. But here we had 2 tens, and we were taking away 7 tens, and we didn't have enough, so we changed the 2 tens to 12 tens. But look, we forgot to cross off the hundreds, giving that 100 to the tens place as 10 tens. So because we forgot to cross off this 3 and make it a 2, when we went to do the subtraction, we did 3 minus 1, which is 2, and that's wrong. That's not 2. That shouldn't be 2. This should have been crossed off, and the 300s became a 200s. So when we did the subtraction, we have 200s minus 100, which is 100. Be very careful. Make sure you remember to cross out and write the corrected number. When we cross out a 10 to regroup 110 as 10 ones, we write the corrected number above the tens digit. When we regroup 100 as 10 tens, the tens digit will be corrected again. So the first thing we do is we look at the ones place. We have two ones and we need to take eight ones away. We don't have enough. So we are going to cross off the three tens. It's going to become two tens. Now instead of two ones, we have 12 ones. And 12 minus eight is equal to four. Now we have two tens and we need to take nine away. We don't have enough. So we're going to cross off this 400, make it a 300. We're going to give it to the tens place as 10 tens. So now instead of two tens, we have 12 tens. And 12 tens minus nine tens is three tens. And 300s minus 100 is 200. It's 234. We can check our subtraction by using addition because addition and subtraction undo each other. If we have 12 minus 7, that's equal to 5. If we add the subtrahend and the difference, the sum should be equal to the minuend. So we can check to see if our difference is correct. We have our subtrahend 198. We're going to add the difference 234 to the subtrahend. If our sum is equal to the minuend of 432, we know we did our subtraction correctly. We add 8 plus 4, which is 12. We regroup 110. 
and put two ones in the ones place. Now we add the tens. I see a nine and a one makes a 10. Then we can just add three and have 13 tens. We can regroup 10 tens as 100 and put the remaining three tens in the tens place. Now we add the hundreds, two, three, four. The sum is 432, which is our minuend, 432. We know we did our subtraction correctly. Let's try another one, 473 minus 284. We look at the ones place. We have three and we need to take four away. We don't have enough. We're going to regroup. This seven tens is going to become six tens and we're going to give it to the ones place as 10 ones. So instead of three ones, we have 13. Sorry, my marker is drying out. And 13 minus four is nine ones. Now we have six tens and we need to take eight away, but we don't have enough. So we're going to cross off the four hundreds, make it a three hundred and give 10 tens to the tens place. So instead of six tens, now we have 16 tens. 16 minus 8 is equal to 8. 3 hundreds minus 2 hundreds is 100. And we can check it. We can add 189 plus 284. If it's equal to 473, we know we did our subtraction correctly. We add the ones place. 9 plus 4 is 13. We regroup a 10, write a 3 in the ones place. 8 plus 8 is 16, plus one more is 17. We regroup, put the 7 in the tens place. 2, 3, 4. We have 473, and 473 was our original menu end. We know we did our subtraction correctly. It's telling us to write the missing digits, and the regroupings are shown. So remember that addition and subtraction are related. If we know the subtrahen, and we know the difference. We can add them to find the missing menu in, just like when we were checking our subtraction. So we start with the ones place. Six plus seven is 13. We regroup a 10 and put the three in the ones place. Now we add the tens. We have six plus four is 10, plus one more is 11 tens. We can regroup one of them to the hundreds and put the remaining one in the tens place. Now we add the hundreds. Two plus two is four plus one more is five. The missing menu in must be 513. There should have been a one in the tens place and a three in the ones place. We look at the regroupings and try doing the problem to make sure this makes sense. If we have three and we wanna take six away, we don't have enough. So we would regroup this and we would cross off this 110 and give it to the ones place. Now there's 13 ones, so that makes sense. 13 minus six is seven. This became zero tens. We have zero tens and need to take four away. So we need to regroup this five as a four and move it over here as 10 tens. So that makes sense. 10 minus four tens is six tens and 400 minus 200 is 200. So yes, we know the missing digits were 110 and three ones because we used addition to undo the subtraction problem because we had the subtrahen and the difference. Now we've got the hundreds place and the tens place missing and the ones in the subtrahen. And we think eight minus some number is equal to four. Well, that's an easy one. That should just be four. And we think we have a regrouping of a 13 here. Well, if it was given 10 tens from the hundreds place, then it must have originally have been a three to become 13. And if this is a regrouped hundreds that became a five, it must have been a six before. Now, we can also solve this just by knowing that this was a four, because now we've got the subtrahen and the difference. And we can add the subtrahen and the difference to get the minuend. Four plus four is eight. 
5 plus 8 is 13. We regroup a 10, tens as 100. We put the 3 here, and we've got a 6. And look, it is 638. So if we know this missing digit is a 4, we can then add the subtrahend and the difference to get all of the digits. This was crossed off. It became a five hundreds. This was crossed off and became 13 tens. Now let's try some higher order thinking skills. We can find a subtraction difference by counting on from the subtrahend with repeated addition. If we have 63 minus 45, we can think, well, 45 plus 5 more, now we're at 50. And if I add another 10, I'll be at 60. And if I add 3 more, I'll be at 63. And I add up these numbers, that will give us our difference. We add up what we counted on. We had to count on 18. That means 63 minus 45 is equal to 18. And we can do it with three-digit numbers. We have 718 minus 450. We think we'll start at the 450 subtrahend. If we add 50, we'll be at 500. If we add another 100, we'll be at 600. If we add another 100, we'll be at 700. Then we can just add 18. We add up everything we counted on, and it's 268, which means 718 minus 450 is equal to 268. Now, because we can add in any order, we could have started with 450 and added 100 first instead of 50, and we would have had 550. We can add another 100, and now we're at 650. Then we add the 50 to get 700. Then we add 18 to get to 718, but it's still 268. We can add in any order, so we can count on from 450 with any groupings. So remember, we can find missing digits or even check our subtraction by using addition. Our next lesson, 6.10, we're going to be regrouping with zeros in the three-digit number. Keep doing your best. I'm proud of you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.